Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Let's get a move on here. Terra Tower. We're still doing it. I want to get that chest down there real fast. And I know that this dude is going to try to snipe me on the ladder. He's done it before. That fool. Ha. No! You're shitting me. What the hell? Those things take so long. They do elements that have animations that take like five minutes. Spectral glove. Another chance to just pick up a spectral weapon easily without having to forge it. So if you use Potial or Mickey or anything like that, there's their spectral weapon right there for you. So get it. Alright, and I think here we just have to pick the right staircase and move without getting involved with these fools. I'm just tired. Whoa! I'm tired of random battles at this point. Just want to move on. This fool's gonna jack me when I get up there, isn't he? Arg! Gotta do this with the quickness. Holy healing! The only other one in the game. So get it. Um, I think there's something all the way up here. Other than this fool. We're having a little bit of lag. It's making me a little nervous. Cool. I can dig it. I am using a new fixed version of this, so I don't know what the problem is at this point. I tried to turn my settings down a little bit on the recording, but I really don't want them too low at this point, since it's the end, and we're going to do great and epic things. I guess anything's better than lagging. Let's move it. Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Could this be? Viper Mana? What's going on? That's what I would like to know. What is going on here? Are you serious? Boy, they love these bridge uh, scenes. Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross love these scenes, don't they? What's all this? Hey, that's Chrono Luke and Marley, isn't it? Hey. What's up? You're not talking to me. Okay, what about you? This is really weird. Welcome. It's good to see you finally made it here. I have been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? This is Viper Mana. This is a space that does not exist, but don't mind that. More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Who are you? Oh, my name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say, things got out of control, and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply to that the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. Ho ho ho. Anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to time warp to this age to learn of Chronopolis and fate's plans and to see how things were turning out. Terra Tower is really a city of the Reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azala's descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it could serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more important now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. 
but then fate sealed away the dragon god's powers, in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the dragon god sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon god entity up into six weaker plasma life forms, then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearances are just pseudo-guises, temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that was once lost, later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon and another darker daughter moon to balance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more. The final dragon, the dark moon dragon. The one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage by the fate computer. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you knew her as Harley. Unbelievable! The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet! Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now's the time to set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. Oh boy, but unfortunately the time for us to part has come. Hey mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? It's Chrono. The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. Interesting. No, don't go. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another. Be careful now, and good luck. Brother, are you kidding me? That's an awful lot to swallow. I'll let you handle that for now. Harley, huh? Who knew? Where is that switch? There's a switch over here somewhere. The same switch we used to get the ladder to come down. Are you serious? Come on, Surge. Find it, buddy. Oh, God. Where is the button? Who's got the button? Thank you. There's a switch. 
um, push it real good. Do 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 You didn't think I was not gonna do that, did you? I don't care how serious it's getting. You guys can kiss my butt. Up here, there's something. Black hole. Uh, that's what shit. No. Never mind. Man, did everybody get that? I hope so. Janice did. She's happy. <laughs> Seven dragons, huh? This whole time. This whole time, she was working with them. Huh. All right, well, once you come out this way, you will notice that a new way has opened. Oh, good lord, I hope I remember the way through here. I think I always say that every time I enter a room. Whoa. Listen to that. It's very important to listen to this melody. It's actually a small clue as to what you need to do. And there actually aren't very many clues to tell you what to do coming up, but this is one of them. Is this the right way? Yes. I knew there was something down here. Ultra Nova. Why not? I'll take a good white element. Won't you? Oh, crud, you guys. There's a boss now, and I don't know if I have time. I know that I've defeated a couple of them in, like, a minute or two, but this would be the one, probably, that I wouldn't finish in time. This one's pretty bad. I guess we could make it a short episode, right? Huh. Everybody got that melody? Remember it. Alright, what's in here? That's what I thought. I, do, I don't have... I only have three minutes. I, don't, I can't do it. When we come back, the green guy. Who is he? What will happen? Harley? Really? See you later, guys.